Hey everyone, my name is Shauna. Welcome back to another Let's Chat video. It's like number six or something, which, yeah, I haven't done these in a while. And I'm here to talk about why and stuff like that. These videos get really low views, because I'm assuming only subscribers watch it, so that's who I'm talking to right now. So if you're just a casual viewer who watches a few of my reviews and that's it, that's fine. You don't even have to watch this. This is for the people who actually subscribe to my channel and like, want to see videos that come out over time. First of all, yeah, there hasn't been videos for a long time. Stuff's been going on. Um, some things changed. Some, maybe they would stayed the same. Who's really to say, but don't really have the money or space for figures. I'm not some YouTuber, special YouTuber who gets figures for free or anything. I don't have some huge warehouse to store them in. I don't resell them. I will resell some probably though because the space is becoming an issue. <laughs> uh, but that's, that's, you know, you know what I mean. Classic figure owner stuff. Like, if figure doesn't grow on you, maybe it was bad to begin with. Like one of those cheese little figures. Definitely gonna resell one of those. <laughs> so yeah. That's part of that. The other part is my mom's health and my health changed drastically in 2024. <laughs> she's she's doing fine, but she's still at home a lot, so I spend time with her and stuff more. And My health issues have all been resolved. It was both mental and physical health things. Went to the hospital once, but that was for a physical ailment and got that all figured out. Went in for a procedure and all that. It's all taken care of or everything's good. So yeah, and for my mental health, I just saw someone and got on some new medication and it's working really well. So since I've been gone, I've just been getting more into the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Rush Duels, you notice I released some videos for that. I still have some more videos I kind of want to release on stuff I've already shot the videos of. But my interest in Rush Duels has waned mainly because no one in America plays them. How they're on Duel Links, whatever. But also the prices and the difficulty of shipping from Japan. It's a nightmare. They upsell the packs at a ridiculous price. <laughs> I know you can get like a box of booster packs for like 20 bucks in Japan probably. Like that's probably what I would spend if I converted the money. US dollars, I'm sorry if you don't know that, yeah, US dollars is, I live in the US. Um, so yeah, like they, they charge you 60 to 80 dollars for a box and it's like, dude, I'm not, I'm talking, I'm talking about the smaller boxes, the bigger boxes, yeah, they're like 60 to 100 whatever so i kind of drifted over to the tcg i'm not a fully converted person where i'm like playing meta now <laughs> but i do collect the cards i've always collected the cards pretty much my whole life so we'll talk more about that later been playing a lot of games and stuff taking it easy that's a lie, not taking it easy, distracting myself from things. Things are better now, to the point where I feel like I can start making videos again, which is why we're here, so we're gonna talk about some stuff. The stuff you probably actually care about. Figure reviews. They're dying out on my channel. Just giving you a heads up. They're not, I know in the past they were pretty heavy. They're gonna be heavy for a little bit still, but yeah, money's changed. Like I said, storage has changed. My outlook and view of figures has changed and what they are and what they do. Ever since I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh again, the outlook changes like I collect these cards and I also use them to duel like figures just sit there and so the dynamic has changed where I spend more on cards but still spend less than I spent on figures so it's like yeah I will still be getting figures the ones that I really really want and we're here to talk about that right now so first let me put up my privacy blockers <laughs> Yeah, some of these figure websites just blatantly show your whole name and stuff on the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, just quick mention of my back background art, Chesu, artist, probably my favorite artist right now. This is OC Mina. My Twitter, I think, is, or X, sorry, my X is on my YouTube. There's a link to it. I follow him. 
you can find him there. Does he has done tons of art. It's so good. He's a master at character art, in my opinion. He's my favorite character artist, I guess I should say, because he doesn't really do other art. My eye. Remember that? Do you remember when I used to do VTuber stuff? My eye twitches a lot. Yeah, I don't know if it does that in real life, but... So let's just get into it. Got the privacy blockers up. <laughs> so, this is the next video coming out on my channel. I don't remember, or if you don't, or if you weren't around even, when I talked about this in the last last chat videos, I was getting all four of these girls, the Charmers. I dueled with them back when I was a kid, when they first came out in the GX era. So I have this figure, the video is shot, just needs to be edited and uploaded. So this will be the next video after the one I'm making right now. Then, these are f I'm going to be talking about figures I already own that are in my basement waiting to be reviewed. Some of them I'm on the fence on, like this one. I've never seen Chainsaw Man. But I got this figure because I knew it would do well in views, right? Yeah. I had a different look on the whole YouTube game back in the day. It's changed now. I'm not going to buy figures just because they could get me views anymore. They, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm probably just going to resell it because he's... Probably will be more appreciated, or I'll watch Chainsaw Man first, and if the figure clicks with me, or if the character clicks with me, I'll do a figure review and keep the figure. Next, we've got another video that's already shot, and she's on sale, which that's a really good price, by the way. Um, so one seven scale Ryza with the pairing. So I got both of them at the same time. They're both on sale. That's a again. That's a really good price. I do recommend you get both. So it's 210 bucks. I know that's a lot of money, but they look really good together. That video is already shot. So I have been doing videos. So here's another figure. This Ryza figure has already been. The video has already been shot. The footage is all gotten. Just like need to take pictures for thumbnails, edit them. You know that. That one's done, so you can expect this one sometime within the next one to two months. Again, I'm not sure how quickly I'll be able to get videos out now, but the order might change. So, like, one figure might come out before the other. Depends on how I'm feeling and stuff, which one feels like it's going to take longer to do. I am getting better. I would say I'm not I'm not even near 100% at all, but I'm definitely well enough to do this, so don't worry about me now. This is another figure that I initially kind of bought for views, but I... Let's be honest, Baltimore, like, I only played the game at, like, the very beginning, where, like, she was one of the only, like, SSR top-rated characters. <laughs> She's probably my favorite of the higher-rarity characters, and obviously they make more figures of those. They do have other figures of her, obviously, like, where she's in her actual outfit, which I love this outfit. Oh, it's, oh, it's, this is pre-owned, oh, it's pre-owned. It's gone on sale pre-owned, I might still buy this figure. But, initially... It was this version, which I would not have space for her cannons and stuff, so... Yeah, might get this one in the future, may or may not. Looks like she is on sale. Oh wow, they made a what? Uh, I don't like this one, so this is the one I got. I use her alternate face though, which is this one, so I like that one. That's a video that'll be coming out. Oh, actually, no, I need to talk about this one. Sorry, I got distracted. This figure, I shot the footage for, but it got corrupted. So she's like sitting on my shelf and everything, but I can't make the video of her. So I'm just gonna do a different like voiceover review style like my old videos. Which I wish I could do again, but they they take so much time to make and edit. And if you don't know, if you I don't make money on this channel, so Ah, Nagatoro, she came in the mail. Why am I saying it like that? I got her a while ago, obviously. Really excited to make this video. Again, this one, we're getting to figures I have not shot, but own. So this one, I own this figure, it's in the basement, but not made a video on it. Look forward to that. This figure, it's in the basement. I started shooting it and realized you need some glue to help with the assembly process. So it's like a build-along video, but it'll, as you can see, there's not many parts here, so it won't take very long. And I got the pre-painted version, but she's still really cheap. But the order's closed, so whatever. Then I got, obviously, my favorite character from... Ooh, I don't... I'm really bad at remembering when anime comes out. Whatever season she came out in, either fall, 20... Remember, I don't remember. Whatever. She was my favorite character from that arc of anime, from that season of anime. So yeah, I got the doll of her as well. She is in my basement. This, now we're on to figures who are in the mail and coming. And 
I have to pay for the cheapest shipping now, so it's like two to four months, so who knows when this figure will come. I got the second release was Hita, the Fire Charmer. Looking forward to that one. Love love all the Yu-Gi-Oh figures, man. It's a blast from the past. This figure is shipped, I believe, so it's on the way. Gargura, I mean, like I said, I want to get a 1-7 scale figure of every one from Hull Alive, so we're on the way. She was recently shipped. She is, yeah, I got a notification that she was shipped and on the way. Asa here will be releasing, as you can see, April 2024, so she will be releasing next month. Which means she'll be shipping out next month, which means I won't be getting her till like, two to four months later, so keep that in mind. She's not my favorite, but she kind of is. It's a toss-up between her and Hita. Then we've got my, probably my first waifu, maybe? Not really. Like, she was my first waifu when I knew what waifu was, I guess. Because I've had previous ones, like Yakumo from School Rumble, if you remember that old show. Who had, I had that kind of mindset with, like, you really like that one character from the show. Yeah. Watanabe Yo was my fave from Love Live, and this is probably the one of my favorite figures they've ever made of her. She is more on the expensive side, but I figured it's time I got my one of my original waifus. So she is also releasing in April. She got delayed though, so she might get delayed again, it's hard to say. This figure has been delayed so many times, who knows if it'll ever come out. This is definitely a figure I bought on a whim for views, kind of. Like, ugh, I'm really tempted to just resell it if you really want to see it. Comment, I don't know, like, I don't, I don't like just buying figures to resell them sealed. Like, you just never even open the figure. I don't like doing that. I don't like people who do that. Hey, hello, you there? Hey, hello, you there? All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Well, not sorry, actually, just, if we you don't care, do you? But yeah, this figure, I might do a review of, I don't know. Ugh. We'll see. Obviously, comment anything you want to comment in the comments. Say whatever you want to say about any of these figures, I don't care. Any sort of communication is welcome. This is coming in June, as you probably remember from some of my other videos. Was that the last video, the last Let's Chat for this one? Maybe not, I don't know. She's finally out. Serves you right, all you stupid eBay resellers who were selling her for like $500. No! Yeah, I'll be getting her. The story, I guess, is she was my first... What is it called? Romance partner in Persona 5. <laughs> she was the one I went with, and I think... It's God. It's done really well. I. You are my boyfriend, after all. It's good. It was good. Now we're moving on to the figures I'm looking forward to that may or may not show up. Again, feel free to comment anything about certain ones you'd rather see, rather not see. I can take priority because all these I do want all of these eventually, but it's just a matter of when because they cost a lot. So yeah, I'm on a Kanata. From Whole Alive, yes, that is $266. It's a lot. Well, also, if you don't know, I am a premium member on Tokyo Otaku Mode now. So I use this site way more because it's actually worth it. If you buy figures like I do, like six a year at least, six a year, so like one every other month or so, it's worth it. <laughs> This figure is one I'm super hyped for. This is literally, whoops, literally Chesu, the art guy I follow, my favorite character artist right now, and Mina is my favorite OC character. He does, and anyone does really right now. He got a figure of his character, dude. He got a figure, super, super hyped for it. It is shipped, it's coming, it should be here any day now. This might actually, depending on when she comes, she might just be the next vi video you see because if I get her she'll become priority wait no way 
She actually comes with a tapestry? Dude, I didn't even know that. I just, the second he announced it on Twitter, I was like, bam, pre-order. <laughs> so next, obviously, Yuki Hanalami. But she's a 1-6 scale, which I'm kind of not upset about. That's like saying way too, going way too far with it. It's just, it's the question of Laplace. It's coming from Good Smile, which was a surprise. I didn't even know they did 1-6 scale figures. But she's, she, she's so short. <laughs> I still look like a 1-7 scale figure. Uh, but yeah, they're both 1-6 scale, which... It, first of all, she's so expensive. But that's kind of a price you'd expect for a 1-6 scale figure. I definitely want her, but again, she's super expensive. I have no clue if I'll ever actually get her. Lapless. She's actually cheaper, probably because she is short. <laughs> again, she's a 1-6 scale figure, which is a little annoying because so she won't fit in with the rest of the whole live members. But again, she might be short. It's Good Smile. I just did a review of the other Good Smile, Noeru swimsuit figure. It's really good. So I definitely want this Lapless. She's she's so funny. So far, there's not a single character in Whole Life or a character person VTuber in Whole Life I don't like. Like Regloss, the new group Regloss or whatever they're called. I don't know anything about them. I've not even watched their debuts or anything because it's just so many VTubers in Whole Life now. Then. Suisei, I definitely want this figure. I mean, pretty much every whole life fan is probably agreeing with me. It's done by Design Coco, who I think have done stuff I've gotten before. It's all good. I mean, she's got her outfit. This outfit, I love this outfit of hers with the orange leggings. Look at the base with, like, you got her signature, like, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Whatever those things are called. She's got a mic and everything. Oh, yeah. Really want that one again. It's pretty expensive, but... Also, for right, you knew this was coming. Another Rise of character, oh my, or figure, oh my gosh. This is Claudia's second figure. Basically. And it's another pair figure with Ryza. And you get Fee, the little abomination. <laughs> but they look so good in these outfits. But it's... A lot of money because they're one six scale and there's two of them you can buy them separately why would I do that <laughs> I am oh yeah I didn't even mention this one I'm getting this one I don't know if I bought it from this site or Ami Ami but I think she was shipped already as well next these are ifs big is very big ifs because they're part of the Yu-Gi-Oh monster Yu-Gi-Oh card game monster figure collection which is the same collection the four charmers are in Sky Strikers, their whole story is super interesting. I have some of their cards because I bought a ton of Magnificent Mavens because I loved every card in that pack pretty much. But I've never actually used the deck. I've never even played the deck. What if I don't like how the deck plays? They're definitely on my radar, but they say August 2024 and June 2024. Don't expect them anytime soon, really. They may not ever even get gotten. And the last segment of our video. Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. The Yu-Gi-Oh stuff wasn't really a big hit on my channel, the Rush School, but Rush School isn't really a big hit in general. Oh, I'm low battery, am I? <laughs> Don't worry, we have enough to get through this. So, this coming April, the next pack, booster box coming out is Legacy of Destruction. I'm going to be getting three boxes. Yes, three boxes because that's kind of what I do. I get three boxes of every new set. Is that too much? <laughs> that's not true though. Duelist Nexus, I'm only getting two. I waited a while on that. Didn't like a lot of the cards in it. But as a collector, I can't help it. I'm getting two boxes. Well, I waited because the price went down. I got them both for like 40 something dollars. So the price of two boxes for one, pretty much. I'm pre-ordering these, so I get a pre-order deal to make them cheaper. And they come, the last, I pre-ordered Phantom Nightmare, already opened those. So we're not doing a video, like an unboxing video for that. It came, they arrived the day before the official release date. So April 25th, maybe? <laughs> But that's the thing is, do you want to see Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG box openings on this channel? 
It's not really something we do. We haven't really done much outside of figures, but it's something I'm going to be doing anyways. I'm going to be buying these for my collection. I love the cars. I love the archives. I'm looking forward to trying out the new like Centurion support, like looking at what that does. The new, literally the new archetype or based around Yugi stuff. I already got the Ubel stuff started and already doing Civil Smoils, Snake Eye, and Goblin Biker stuff. Gold Prize been a lot. I mean, yeah, there's just tons of stuff. I'm, I'm just, I'm a collector. I want every card in the pack. <laughs> so we've got this coming in April, the Rarity Collection 2 coming in May. Definitely gonna get it, at least one box. Of course, this is gonna be overpriced, like a hundred plus dollars, even though it's not worth that much. <laughs> current rarity collection is still that over a hundred it's like dude it's not it's just because of supply and demand i know it's just supply and demand then in june we have battles of legends terminal revenge probably only get two of these because battle of the legends might even get one the cards in them are usually pretty cheap well there's a few cards that are hard to get that are usually like expensive but after that just buy singles and then of course in july we've got the infinite forbidden the big new pack where they've got new Exodia support under the Exod archetype, I think, or something. Not sure yet. But yeah, we got Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff that I will be buying, getting the boxes of, regardless of if I make the videos or not, but if you want to see videos of them, definitely just say, like, yeah, thumbs up, Yu-Gi-Oh! unboxings. Because... I might do my unboxings a little more elaborate than a lot of other YouTubers do. They just open the packs on camera and then that's it. It's like, oh, okay. But I would like to actually go through and like look at the cards with you in the pack and like what you can get, talk about it, and maybe see if it's worth it to you to buy a box or just buy singles. We'll even go to TCG Player maybe and look at how much the singles are costing. Stuff like that, that's the kind of stuff I want to do with my Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, is more than just, hey, here are these cards I got, wow, I'm so cool, or lucky, or unlucky. If you can't tell, I hate unboxing videos, but I know people like to watch them, so I'm more than willing to open packs on camera, because I actually got pretty good luck when it comes to boxes. <laughs> From Phantom Nightmare, I pulled the currently still $80 voiceless voice low I, got, I pulled her and was like I'm not selling it but I'm just saying it's one of those high desired cards see I'm not into I'm not see that's the thing is I'm not a Yugi tuber I'm not a Yugi fanatic I don't know every little thing that's coming out I don't look at the OCG cards and make plans for upcoming decks that won't be even legal to like four months away I don't do that stuff I'm very casual very very casual format I like to play World Chal Pure World Chalice is one of my favorite decks, even though it's bad. <laughs> so, and like I'm looking forward to making Goblin. Like I've, I've almost finished my Goblin Biker deck, and it's yeah. Oh yeah, I was talking about luck. I must be little knights. <laughs> I got. I literally bought 48 packs, not at once, but in sep 24 and two separate visits to Walmart. Because that's how hard it is to find these. I pulled SP Little Knight once each in those 24 sets of 24, and then I also got the Star Slayer and two Dark Old Dragons, and I got the TG Rocket Salamander and an Ash and stuff. Didn't get Dia Star, the card I wanted most of all. <laughs> and that's the thing is, I want her for different reasons than everyone else does. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. It's like, I actually want to make a Dia Star sinful spoils deck does not just fire spam snake eye whatever like everyone else does but yeah so that's my long spiel i'll probably put a big text warning before this spiel starts to all the other viewers so they can just skip the rest of the video because yeah i'm a very frequent user of Wikipedia. i just love looking at what's coming next I'll, i do buy ocg stuff like i recently bought the new art book i don't know if it's still on here i like buying the books and art books i'm getting the diabelle star dual set when it comes out which is just a mat a card which i don't really care about the card and some sleeves which is awesome because i highly doubt we'll get these well, it's it's always it's always a 
toss-up. You never know if you're getting the sleeves in America or not. Sometimes they give us the cool OCG sleeves, sometimes they don't. I'd love to put some Dia Bellstar sleeves on my Dia's Bellstar deck, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's just get out of here. <laughs> This video, I, I know, has been long and rambly, but it might not be for you. I'm going to try my best to edit it down to be very concise, to the point, skip all the unnecessary mumbo-jumbo. And thanks for watching. If you stuck with me for all this time I've been gone, I appreciate it. People still subscribe. People have still been subscribing to my channel, like, as I've been away, and it has definitely fueled the fire me to be like, if people are still subscribing, I should just still... Like, I was never going to stop. That's the thing, I was never going to stop making figure unboxing videos and reviews, it's just a matter of when I started and I feel like I can start now, so. Thanks for sticking with me if you have. I know I just said that, but I just, I really mean it. Comment anything you want to comment in regards to this video, but the main thing I want to know is if you would even care to see Yukio unboxing videos on my channel. I wish you the best of luck in all your figure collecting adventures card collecting adventures your life in general it can be tough man just keep on seeing through it i guess because that's what i did these past few months and i'm still here and i'm feeling pretty good now so farewell my friends